Taito? What the hell? Oh. Okay, so... Here's a problem. 505 released this game by Taito as the sequel to Radio Helicopter, which was a game in the Simple A Thousand series. So, now this Taito game is a Simple A Thousand game, at least in Europe. Brilliant. I wonder if Taito has anything to say about this. Yes, that's the sound effect the game uses for menus. Uh, so, let, let's see what we've got in configuration. There are actually quite a few options here. Uh, shockingly. Like standard regular helicopter controls, radio helicopter controls, a simulation model, and miniature option, which does, I don't know what, like I've got the manual for this game and it only tells me, yes, miniature option is something you can turn on or off. Without explaining what it is, so who knows. So, where do we go from here? Let's do challenge. Oh, okay, so the flight model is actually much better than it was in uh, uh, Simple 2000 thing. Uh, come on. Come on, stop. Land. Okay, I've landed. Game. I think I can do better. As you may notice, this game has uh, engine sounds, just helicopter sounds, which is um, impressive. And funny thing, I wasn't noticing that I was missing, like, the engine noise in the previous one, because when you play Radio Helicopter 1, your CD spins all the time, and the PS2 sounds like it's about to explode. Now, here's another key mechanic of the game, and this is also the key problem of the game. The hitbox on these stars is absolutely tiny. Unfortunately, one of the game's modes, called Adventure, is built entirely around collecting stars. Yay! You know, I can see how you could present this game as a sequel to that radio helicopter. That one also had stars. Okay, let's see what the next mission is. Okay, flying through the rings. Can do this. Now, the back of the box doesn't actually tell you that this is like a completely different game, no. It just tells you, the most original simulator of all time is back. The radio-controlled miniature helicopter. Take control of a radio-controlled miniature helicopter, explore an even bigger house, and discover all the secrets. Uncover all new different types of radio-controlled helicopters. Will you be able to collect all the stars hidden throughout the house? We'll get to the house later. But, um, yeah, they, there was a house in the previous game, right? And we were exploring it, there was this bottomless pit which I fell into. Weird. So, I wonder if Taito was actually aware that Radio Helicopter 1 released in Europe wasn't their game, but something completely different. Okay, got a new level and got a new helicopter. New level is... here. I think there are 10 levels in the game. And as for new helicopter, well, that becomes available only in free flight mode. We'll be seeing most of the helicopters in this mode anyway. Uh, sorry. I, I, I tripped and fell. Right, now let's hit this balloon. Yay. Ah, shit. And to think this is actually the helicopter I used to train on in real life. A little bit. Haven't done that in ages. I do like the flight model, I do like that there are different engine sounds, and this game also has a fairly advanced collision system. Uh, this is me just getting tired of it, restarting. Yeah, so the collision system is good because you only die, like you only fail, if you hit something with your propeller. If you hit with anything else, it's fine, you just get bumped a little. A pretty nice system. Oh, come on, just 
one point. Ooh, we can fire missiles. That's cool. So this is kind of more dynamic than the previous radio helicopter. Nice. Yeah, when I was playing this, I played this like briefly last year or so, I think. And it wasn't too impressive because it kind of looked hollow, empty. And the beginning of the adventure mode is hell. And, you know, now looking at it a second time, the game doesn't seem too, too, too bad. Oh wow, we've got automatic landing gear in this one. Now what? Oh, more circles. Oh, I'm sorry, rings. And yes, I can actually switch my camera to first-person view now. That was easy. Now, come on. Three more points you could have given to me. Now we've got some more stars collecting. And this is one of the rooms which are not a part of the adventure mode. I think there are only three of them which are not a part of the adventure mode, and you get them as you complete them in challenge. But adventure will be like a separate thing. We're, we'll see some of the levels from it here. They're like living rooms, maybe bathrooms or something. And there, yeah, you, you fly around th these rooms and you collect... Oh, I think there's a hundred stars in total. Come to think of it, I should probably record the adventure mode, because I've beaten it 100% like last week. And it's got a pretty cute reward for completing it. A new unlockable helicopter from Taito. And I didn't qualify, because to qualify you need at least 70 points. Oh well, let's do it again. This time a bit more... Optimally. Oh, come on. I'll just lie down. Yeah, let's try again. Really, this is the one big flaw of the game. This frigging hitbox. This is just me getting tired. Okay, I got lucky here. It's actually pretty fun to fly here because of this very fluid flight model. Not a big fan of the stars, as you can see, but just flying around is nice. Another new helicopter. Three circles around the poles. Uh, okay, let's do another three circles around the poles. Well, that was close. Have you noticed these poles are painted like the Polish flags? So, they're just doubly poles? No, 
Now what do we do? More lending. A big heavy helicopter. Yeah, the helicopters in the game are split into three weight classes and they do behave differently. Though I'm not sure about the differences between like specific helicopters within each class. Actually they probably are different too. At least there is another heavy helicopter in the game which is way worse than this one in, in the way it handles. Ooh, more balloons popping. These balloons actually have a physics model attached to them. Yeah, you see how you can bump them away. And yeah, you only pop them when you hit them with the propeller, not with the, with anything else, and only at the right angle. So sometimes they just get away, like this one. Okay, I gotta say this is pretty fun. I wonder if there's a mission where you chase, like, more balloons, like, a few dozen of them. In a full room and you only need to kill a certain number. Now what? Ah, collecting stars placed randomly. Luckily they're not too random. Where are the stars? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be examining this room too much because we'll be seeing a lot of this room in... Radio helicopter to adventure mode. There are like 10, oh wait, no, there are 12 stars in this room. I mean, n not at the moment. There are only three here at the moment, and just restart. TV set, you can turn it on. Those cupboards, you can open them. It's a game about thorough searching. Barely made it. New level, new helicopter, more explosions. Oh, what are we flying now? Ah yes, we're flying, according to the manual, we're flying Kamofu K-52, because the people who translated the manual, they couldn't be bothered to like look up the real names of helicopters, so they just transliterated whatever the Japanese book that had. The manual says the game has one really cool looking helicopter, which I can't wait to unlock, but it doesn't seem to appear in this video. Oh, look, we're killing cockroaches. Remember cockroach killing mission? Yeah, so here's another way you can consider this game a sequel to Radio Helicopter. Is this like a thing they do in Japan with radio helicopters, kill cockroaches with them? Is that like a Japanese TV game show? Okay, these are huge. Yeah, we need to kill them. Uh, actually, I'd probably bring a real helicopter here. Yeah, 
Okay, where's the last one? Come on, come out. And I don't want to search inside the fridge. Another table? No. Where is it? Oh, I see movement. There it is. Land on a heliport after hovering over the box. Oh, okay, we can hover over the box a little, if you want to. Ah, this is the terrible heavy helicopter, yeah, th this one controls like ass. And done! Next we've got, ooh, extinguish the fire in the frying pan. At least there are no people in it. I guess we can use the fire extinguisher. And notice nobody tells me that my spray thing will have to rest for a couple of seconds between shoots. I wish I could aim this thing better, but uh, I guess this will do. Nice. Perfect. And let's go to level 5. Okay, we're breaking all the balloons and looks like a dead Japanese-themed room. We're flying a Robinson again, the R-44. It could have been worse, it could have been an R-22. That one is lighter, it's like missing two seats, and it's shorter, and it's... and it's just terrible. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe when I switch to miniature mode that changes the 3D models of my helicopters, because notice they all look kind of... cartoonish, a bit. Like, I don't know, like little toys. Not like models of real helicopters. Ah! For fuck's sake. Yeah, let's do it again. Notice that the door is open. Funny. They couldn't be bothered to code in uh, a reset of the entire level. Between resets. Where, where is the... where is the balloon? Okay, let's try it gently. Ah. Oh, the colors of the balloons are randomized. Pop, pop, and two more. I'm getting good at this. Camouflage balloon. Come back here. Oh. Where is it? trying to hide. It, it's trying to disguise itself. But it failed. Barely made it. Okay. Again. Okay, let's go around the poles three times. Welcome back to Poland. So the complication of this mission is that there are now these stacks of crates. Not that much of a complication, especially with how slow our helicopter is. So this game is a bit like uh, the WarioWare of radio control simulators. Lots of these very simple missions, uh, which gradually increase in difficulty. I kind of like this concept. Wow, 100%. Nice. And more explosions.
Oh, six more targets. Uh, wow, but uh, I don't see any of them. Okay, they're spread out all over the place. Okay, I guess one is on those crates behind that screen. Yes, there's one, and there's the second one. Only three left. Has anyone seen any more targets? I haven't. There's one. I can fire the missile and I can just turn around and wait for it to get somewhere. Or, you know, I could just miss and uh, I still don't know where the other two targets are. Oh, I see it. You bastards, it's upstairs. Yeah, I think I need to take the stairs. I'm not sure. Ow, almost got myself killed. Aha! Got it. Gently fall out of here without hitting anything with the propeller and land. And my score is... 43. Well, that's... Uh... So let's try again and again. Okay, so four minutes later, maybe more. I think I've got the strategy for this for this level right. It, it does require a strategy. What you need to do is you need to fire your missiles and then start setting up your next shot while the missile is still flying. So you fire at this distant target, hopefully hitting it and start lining up for this shot. It's pretty much the only way to save time here. Can I snipe it from this angle? Okay, should be good. Now I get this one. And the last one is behind the screen. So it does get tricky at the halfway point of the game. Qualified. Now let's see what the final mission for today would be. Move all of the containers to the heliport. Ah uh, yes, so they, they were training us for this. They were training us for picking up containers with a crane. This is the heliport, and let's look for the containers. No, not a container. There is the container. How do we grab it? Aha, to hang by an action button. To release by an action button. Uh, yes, it's it's the traditional 505 quality translation. Uh, by the way, I think the 505 producer responsible for this project is the same as the the guy responsible for the original radio helicopter. And by original radio helicopter, I mean Radio Helicopter 2, but in the Simple 2000 series of radio helicopter games. Ah, shit. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what, what's happening there. I should navigate this map better, this was one of the maps in the adventure mode, uh, but uh, yeah, as you can see. Still, the, the physics model is nice, you see how the helicopter was spinning after losing one rotor? I don't think that radio helicopter, the, the simple radio helicopter would have been able to do something like this. There is one more. I 
I'm just going to toss it down the stairs too. I'll maybe fly with it down the stairs. And try not to bump into any walls. No, 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 no. Yes. To release by an action button. Now. And let's fly, get the one downstairs. nice game if you let it you know, run for a bit, go beyond the first few missions and don't start immediately with adventure mode because adventure mode starts really badly. That's some really terrible stuff. Ooh, 100 points. Nice. Got a new level, got a new helicopter. Let's see what level 6 awaits us with. Let's see the level 6. Uh, land, break balloons, put out a fire in a fireplace and... Wow, is that an Osprey? That's an Osprey. Interesting. Okay, so I think we'll do it next time. You know, I wasn't planning to, like, co cover this entire game, but it looks decent. So it looks a bit fun. So, yeah, and there isn't much of this game online. Uh, like, I, I checked, I tried to find some videos when I got stuck in adventure mode, and there's bugger all. So, I guess I'll record this and see what awards I get. I don't think I'll be grinding for like the perfect rewards on every single uh, on every single mission. That's a free flight. Uh, these are the adventure mode levels. These are the levels we got from the challenge mode. So yeah, so you pick a map, then you pick a helicopter. Let's first pick a map, okay? And yes, so the there are helicopters, and they're all based on real life stuff. Uh, hopefully not too mangled in uh, translation from Japanese into uh, 505. Helicopter with many improvements. And heavy ones, we've got only this one, which is kind of terrible. Okay, next time we'll, I suppose, finish the free flight mode, no matter how many takes it takes me. And yes, then we'll be ready for adventure and searching for the stars everywhere.